high. So this is update for the last post for the Sunfire MK2, Sunfire MK4, Sunfire True. So we replace it all the parts, NPN transistor, diodes, capacitors, some actor coupler. So the power supply IRF640. Okay, so let's turn it on. And we're gonna test it. Let's start it. Okay. Let's power on. Let's check the voltage. Okay, we're gonna test it now. Get the ground. Now we're gonna test the power supply. Hundred fifty eight volts. At side it should be minus hundred fifty eight volt. Yes, correct. Okay, now we're gonna check after coupler voltage diode power supply 5 volts that side should be another side okay we check later okay now we're gonna check the rail here is for the 13 volts Okay, so let's check. Oh, we got about 13 volts. So it's plus and should be minus 13 too. Yes, let's see the points. Okay, now we're gonna check the Expert output already, so there should be low voltage on that side or nothing because it's off standby, it should be no voltage or very low. The other side should be minus and also low voltage or none. So when you drive, you're gonna pick up the voltage. Okay, so that's very important. So that, that, that should be voltage when it's off. Okay, so that's about. Now I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna start slowly drive. So on the small speaker just to test it okay so this we're going to test it see the voltage change as a plus plus rail This is minus rail. So when you turn the volume up, it should be high voltage. It could be up to 94, 95 volts. So as the that's about the sun fire. So just be careful. Those main caps have a 
across about 300 volts when you measure so just be careful okay when you're working on this should be discharged when you're working on the sun fire that should be here that should be here see it's about 300 volts across these two capacitors okay so make sure you discharge them because you can get sharp okay so any questions and comments below thank you